Hey lovelies, it's Alexa with Blue Woods Design, and today I am bringing you a fun jelly plate project that I am in love with. So I'm starting off with my Jelly Arts um, 5 by 7 and then I believe it's a 4 by 4 square that I have there. And I'm using some postal like brown paper, some white paper, and paint, and of course, fall leaves. So this project today, I am creating something for my own table. So in, in my art, I use tons of color, crazy color all over the place. But my home is super like farmhousey and definitely not the explosion of color that happens in my art studio. <laughs> so I was thinking of ways that I could bring in the idea of jelly printing into my actual decor in my house, not just in my artwork. Um, so I was thinking, man, it's fall. It's a perfect time to be thinking about leaves and all that gorgeousness. I love doing printing with leaves. So I had to grab a bunch from my yard and get creative. So I'm starting out by rolling out this brown paper packaging <laughs> and it's going to be like a table runner on my table and then I grabbed a paint pen but you could do this with a sharpie whatever you've got and I wrote out grateful thankful blessed so I'm thinking I'll leave this out for the duration of fall and into like Thanksgiving time so I really wanted it to kind of be something that reflected that feeling of the season now I'm going to start printing and I'm using my 5 by 7 um, Jelly Arts plate here and I'm using some Payne's Gray, which I love, but you could always use black too. It's fine. Um, I just really like the, the depth that I get with the Payne's Gray. And so now I'm just laying down my leaves. I'm putting them wherever because I started originally with printing directly onto the paper. And occasionally I'd get these little smudges. So you'll see I'm like pulling off all the excess around it and I keep pulling it off. I pull it off until there's like next to nothing left on it. But occasionally I would still get a smudge. So I changed up my tactic and I decided, well, I'll just stamp these onto some brown paper, cut them out, and then I can put them onto the one that that way it's a little cleaner and crisper. But you could print directly onto this paper on your table. Um, like I said, most of mine turned out really cool the first time I did it, but I did get a couple smudges. So you see like around the um, leaves right there, you see some smudges. So that's why I was like, I'll just cut them out instead. And I just use scotch tape. If I was thinking about it, I was like, let me start with scotch tape, see if I like it. If I wanted it really flat, I could always grab a glue stick and done, right? But I actually kind of liked the depth that I got by taping them on. And so I just printed a bunch, cut them out, and then I taped them on. And look how cute this looks. So this is right in the center of the table. I wanted to do more because I was like, all right, let's tie this in a little bit more. So here's some more jelly printing that I did. And this one I'm actually using my larger plate. Um, I believe this one's an eight by 10. And again, grabbing some leaves that I have. And for this, I'm going to be using some color. So I wanted to have that farmhouse look, but I know I'm going to have some color on the table with pumpkins and little gourds and things like that. So I wanted to have some good fall colors, but I also wanted to brighten it up a bit. So you'll see, I'm going to walk you through like the basics of printing here. This is my favorite thing to do. So you put your um, leaves down and then you pull away that other color, right? Like all that extra black around the leaves. And now if you're really careful, <laughs> which you can see I'm a little bit too crazy with my brayer, but you can roll that on in between and get this wonderful contrast. And I'll show you a couple different ways that I did this, but these are going to be used for the table decor as well. But right now I just basically need to pull some prints. So this one you'll see turns out really, really pretty. Um, this bright yellow with the Payne's gray, just such a beautiful contrast and perfect for my table, like just a little pop of color. You 
beautiful. So I'm gonna let that one hang out and dry and I'm gonna make one more. And this one, this next one I decided, let's add some brighter colors. So I'm going to use my yellow again and I'm using, this is actually quinacridone magenta. So pretty pinky, but once you mix it with that yellow, um, and the yellow I'm using is um, cadmium yellow deep hue. And both of these are Liquitex um, basics color and they work great on my jelly plate. So as you can see, look at when it mixes together. Ooh, it's just so pretty. That pink is still kind of vibrant for fall, but I just love the like orangey yellowish colors that are coming out of it. So again, I'm just pulling some prints. Look how pretty. I love it. <laughs> and I'm not sure exactly which ones I'm going to use yet, but what I'm going to be using these for is I'm going to cut it into a strip and I'm going to wrap it around a candle I have. So I have a bunch of candles that are in jars and they have like the label on them. I love how they smell, but I don't love like just like the cheesy label with the picture of like cinnamon sticks and apples. So I take um, my prints and I actually cut them into strips and I wrap the jar in it and it looks really, really cute. And it adds just a pop of color without being too, too much. So here I've got a little bit of that black left over and I'm gonna put it on top of this gorgeous, colorful negative print that I took. And this one is totally my favorite print ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> so this one I use um, as well as the original yellow one um, on my candles. But here's the whole bunch that I made. So I made a whole bunch of them. I, you know, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do a bunch, right? And then you have them on hand for when you're ready to go. So here's my tablescape. And as you can see, there's one candle that's wrapped. Here's all those um, leaves that I printed. And here's that other one that I love, love, love so much. And it turned out so pretty. So I was really excited. And then I had these little placemats like that I got just like these paper placemats. And I just did super basic jelly printing of a couple leaves in each corner, different colors. And when like if I'm going to do a dinner or something, I might do like uh, place cards or write their name on that um, placemat for them, just kind of add to it. But like, look, add a few flowers for your, you know, like your dinner party and you're set to go. But I just love how this turned out. I love that I got to incorporate jelly printing into my farmhousey look. It doesn't have to be that it's only for your art journal and only for crazy colors and crazy textures. You can actually do something that's really quite clean and crisp and beautiful. So I hope you guys get some decorating inspiration and think of ways you can use your jelly arts plate around your house more than just your art journal. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time.